Hello, welcome to this video of the uh, Audi A3, the 1.2 TFSI petrol uh, four-cylinder six-speed manual. Uh, this is a uh, 2014 registered vehicle, 84,000 miles in very, very, very good condition. Uh, gleaming black paintwork, uh, all four alloy wheels immaculate, real good shine to it, HPI clear, uh, a very nice car. Let's start off on the bodywork, let's start off on this wheel. You see it's even got the Michelin tyres on this one. Alloy wheels immaculate. The uh, wing there, absolutely gleaming. Paintwork is all shiny everywhere we look. Tongue wheel marks, got the LED front lights as well. LED daytime running lights. With the grill, immaculate, there's no cracks or chips anywhere. Nice to see the original Leeds Audi number plates there as well. Uh, the bonnet is in very good condition, uh, possibly some minimal uh, signs or evidence of chipping on the front, very light, very minimal, and that is also report. Uh, so yeah, it's also got the headlight washer jets, which are those there, because these are xenon lights as well there, xenon lights and LEDs. All the uh, lower fog lights are down there, LEDs as well, all these little fancy vents, which really set it apart, uh, that wing there, very clean that alloy wheel immaculate and obviously this is the wheel that gets the most action curbside so that wheel is very good Michelin tyre as well uh, S-line badges because obviously it is an S-line it's got this side skirt you can see there that side skirt's nice the car's been uh, fully detailed as well so uh, no tar spots on the bottom of the doors etc very clean the windscreen's very clean it has got the gradual tinted top windscreen you see the top three or four inches is like tinted it's got the uh, rain and light package there. So a rain sensor and light package. Back to that wing mirror is very, very clean. It's got the indicator there as well. So there's no evidence of any condensation or anything broken. And the folding electric wing mirrors as well. So those wing mirrors fold in when you press the alarm, etc. That door, immaculate. No trolley dents anywhere at all. No supermarket trolley dents at all on there. That uh, archway there is immaculate there, that wheel arch. There's no scratches on that. We call it the gate post wheel arch. So that's the left turn for the gate post. Uh, it's totally immaculate. Uh, so is that alloy wheel there. Brand new brake disc and pads, which we've done. Uh, the Audi specialist have just serviced it. Recommended brake disc and pads on the back, so they're new. Uh, Tires on the back are really good, as you can see there. That corner bumper, immaculate there. The lights are very clean, no cracks, no condensation, no water ingress all very clean same again the back it's got the uh, Leeds Audi registration number plates where the car was registered all very clean even down here rear lights again all the glass is clean it's got a little bit of a rear boot spoiler there or should we say tailgate spoiler a little bit of a lip there the roof is very clean as well down here is immaculate that quarter panel there immaculate good shine to it inside the fuel cap very clean unleaded of course even got the uh, rubber string still intact there that's good to see and that alloy wheel immaculate brand new brake disc and pads and really good tires as well that wheel arch there immaculate no scuffs or scratches at all that rear door immaculate no dents, no scratches, no scuffs. Same on the drivers as well. And then the driver's wing mirror there, immaculate. No scuffs, no dents, no scratches. The windscreen, immaculate this side as well. Looks like it is an Audi item as well. No chips or cracks. So that's the outside covered. Outside the car, very clean. Like I say, even down to the wheel arches inside there. They're all nice and clean as well no mud in there that's what you want to see on a car engine very quiet you can hear that very quiet timing chain engine 1.2 timing chain engine so there's no need to replace a rubber belt it's a timing chain engine right let's look in the boot the boot we've got our parcel shelf here the strings are attached all nice and clean around the boot shut area there all nice and clean 
carpet's very clean, no evidence of any dog hairs in there, in the fibres. Doesn't smell of dogs, it doesn't smell of smoke. Uh, relatively clean. Slight scuff in the carpet there, to make you aware of, just there. Not very noticeable, but obviously I need to make you that aware of that. And then obviously this variable boot 4, so this is a variable boot 4, so we can pull this up and drop it down so it's deeper. So a variable boot 4 and under here we've got your slimline space saving spare and your uh, jack and brace there. Inside here you've got a little cubby hole, we've got your tool kit and your uh, first aid kit in there as well. Okay, so that's all that up here. Nice and clean. The warning triangle is behind that, so that's a warning triangle under there. All this plastic panel is nice and clean, nothing to report. Then all this here, that's all nice and clean, that plastic panel there. No scratches or scuffs. Same on the back of the bumper. Totally immaculate, that bumper. Okay, so let's look inside the car. This side, rear quarter, very clean. Got the brush aluminium uh, trim for the door. Speakers there, electric rear windows of course, speakers there as well, so you've got two speakers. You've got the uh, aluminium kick plates there as well. Fitted carpet set, tailor fitted with the even, they've got the clips on the back as well, so that's good to see. Uh, the magazine nets there, nice and tight, not fraying or sagging, so very clean. Some heater vents in the back and a 12 volt, uh, so all nice and clean. Half leather interior, this is, the, this is the better interior, it is an expensive upgrade this uh, leather. Uh, Isofix anchoring points as well, free seat belts, free rear headrest and the black uh, roof lining which is easier to take care of. Uh, and then down here all nice and clean, the door shuts are nice and clean as well, no damage from any trap seat belt marks at all. Let's go to the other side, show you that. Clean there. Passengers front. The S-Line logos on the front kick plates. That's all nice and clean. Embossed S-Line uh, sport seats. So embossed at the front, immaculate condition, no wear and tear on the bolsters at all. Very clean. Got the little luggage there, the luggage net there as well to keep your little documents in there. Fitted carpet set, all nice and clean. You've got the uh, brush aluminium effect trim there as well. That's all nice and clean this side. Let's go to the driver's door. All nice and clean. Four electric windows. Some tiny uh, little fingernail key uh, or ring scratches there on the uh, aluminium garnish, which is very common on Audis. Unfortunately, this material here is a little bit softer than normal, and you do get the little ring marks from people when they get in and out of the car. Four electric uh, windows, electric mirror heated and folding. So if we twist that, it folds. And then we twist it again twist out so that's all working uh, this is all clean inside here all those pockets are clean the grills are clean inside the door shuts are clean it's got the uh, white grease from the servicing so properly serviced and greased uh, all the foot pedals are nice and clean uh, S-line kick plate there the driver's seat's got the height adjustment as well uh, the passenger side has as well so this is also so the passenger side also got the height seat adjustment on the passengers uh, the seat, very good condition, minimal wear on there, very minimal, uh, very clean. Okay, so let's get inside. So we've got automatic lights there. So auto lights, which is good. We've got uh, three keys with this one, believe it or not. So three keys. Now, that one works totally. This one doesn't lock or unlock the car. We've been trying to reset it, but we don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, maybe someone might have put it in the washing machine, I don't know, but it does start the car. So that one doesn't work, but you've got three keys in total, but it will open the door manually outside and get in the car, etc. So it just doesn't work on the remote. It's actually flashing a red light. If we press it, the red light's coming on. So it is transmitting like that, you can see. So it's working, but it's not keying up to the car. But it does start the engine, it does open the doors, all three keys do that. 
So, you know, you've got three keys, which is, uh, I think, more than enough. Let's look at this steering wheel. It's a sports flat bottom steering wheel, S-Line 1. A very expensive feature, this S-Line package. Uh, so we've got the uh, steering wheel controls there and there, voice command. Uh, we've got 110 miles to empty on that fuel there. You see there, that's how much we've got, so 110 miles, 84,382 miles. So it's got the stop start feature. Uh, if we press this here as well, you can drive a select. So you can have the little different driving modes, etc. Uh, right, okay, so up here you've got this, which you can press this button to make that disappear out of sight, or you can press it and it pops back up again. And there, this main computer. So you've got this sat nav. All the controls are controlled by down here. So it's a sat nav. You press down, you've got the telephone, Bluetooth, and your music. You can play the music through that. DAB radio as well, so that's good. That's an extra. Uh, media, obviously, this is through the media MMI uh, control port, which is in the armrest here. So we lift that up. Inside there, we've got the MMI Audi multimedia input port. Uh, electronic handbrake, these. Uh, volume control there. Six speed manual gear lever. Uh, 12, well, cigarette lighter, that. That's a cigarette lighter, that's a bonus. Uh, and then you've got your drinks holders there. Digital climate control, which is dual zone. So you've got your left and right temperature settings and then you've got your heated seats as well that's another extra so bonus there heated seats an extra as well so that's all there uh what else have we got obviously the button there for stop start on and off traction control uh and then you drive select uh and that is about it for in the car let's look at the service history so we've got the audi uh, leaflet folder here we've got the v5 we've got the three keys we've got the so the last service here Done by our local VW uh, garage, which was, let's have a look. Yes, so rear brake disc and pads replaced. Uh, air cleaner element, oil and filter at 84,000 miles. Uh, at the end of March, last day in March, that was done. And then you've got your Audi service record as well. So that early on, you've got a digital service report there uh, from Audi Leeds, of course, where it registered. So that's the dates and the mileages, Audi Leeds, etc. So that's all there. That's all there, so we've got all that there, and then you've also got the, you've got the MOT certificate. Yes, MOT certificate as well, with the mileages here, uh, which all tally up, of course, and it expires 23rd of March 2024. So that's that, so that's everything there. Inside the glove box, we've got the CD player, which is up there, and your SD card holders, so you can play your music through there, and then also you've got your locking wheel nut there as well. Uh, so it's all there. Now let's open the bonnet, switch the engine off, pull the bonnet release there, and then get under the bonnet. Let's have a look under the bonnet in this one. Oh, that's good. So it has got a bonnet strut there, so there's no fiddly metal prop to prop up the uh, bonnet with. Inside, we've got this uh, 1.2 TFSI engine, so it is turbo, uh, it is fuel injection as well and it's a four cylinder engine uh, good to see we've got the uh, stop start battery as well the full size one which fits the holder so no one's no one it's obviously being changed and maintained properly because uh, sometimes you get batteries what are smaller and you don't want to see that because some people just means they're buying a cheap battery to uh, get it through uh, so everything's clean here it is hpi clear so there's no uh, record of it being in an accident at all there's no outstanding finance, etc. Uh, nothing like that. So it's all clear, which is good to know. Like I say, it's a, it's a very, uh, very clean car. Okay, so if you've got a part exchange, please let us know the mileage and reg number. We can give you a valuation based on the live auto trade data. Uh, we do do finance as well. This car can be financed up to five years. So please give us a call or email us if you want us to run a quote through. We are FCA registered licensed credit brokers. So we've got our own in-house finance team led by James, our finance manager, and he will give you a call to discuss your payments. Okay, so hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you.